In this demonstration, we're going to look at an example where using a drop-down list control is not the best option in SmartForm design performance due to a large amount of records needing to load when the form initializes. Let's load up this view to see what happens. I have an information view showing here that allows us to look up a person's contact information from a database table using a drop-down list that gets pre-populated with a list of names. Let's look at the initialize rule for this view. Notice here that I even tell K2 to cache the list so that it doesn't have to always go back to the server for data while the view is loaded up. I'll back out of here and run the view to see how it behaves. Notice the view is taking quite a while to load up because it is populating the drop-down list with items for each of the entries in my database table. This is not going to be a very friendly form for my users. So what are my options? Well, even with caching turned on, the form still takes a few seconds to open the dropdown list. Running the rule to load the data on the server instead of in the client browser also does not run extremely fast here when the form loads up. We can make this a better user experience by actually using the picker control for lookup on this view instead of the dropdown list. Let's jump over to a view where I have already wired that up. In looking at the rules for this view, we do not have to populate the picker control with a full list of people in the views initialize event. So that eliminates the wait when the form loads. When we run this view, it opens with the picker control ready for search criteria. I'll enter in a name, then use its lookup capability. Let's select Andrea Brooks. And you can see that the user experience is much faster and more efficient for this scenario. With over 19,000 records in the person table of the database, it's going to be much faster to use the picker control for this view.